Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow point dupe today. This time it's from the brand called She Glam, which is Sheen's own makeup brand. And of course, it being a Sheen product, it's super, super cheap. So I'm very excited to see if it's a good alternative to the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade because it would definitely save me a lot of money. Not that I need to repurchase the pomade that often because you get quite a lot of product and you only need a little bit. So this is actually my most cost-effective product to do my eyebrows. Not my favorite, I much prefer eyebrow pencils, but if I use brow pencils, I need to purchase probably two a year whilst if I use a pomade I need to purchase a new one once maybe every two years so it does save me a lot of money but if I could have a cheaper dupe that would save me even more. As you can see from how ridiculous I look right now, my whole makeup is completed except my eyebrows. I literally look like I don't have any brows because I don't really have any, but that's hopefully gonna change in a second. Before we jump right into applying the products though, I wanna tell you a little bit about both of them. This is how the brow pomade looks like from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's 19 pounds and because it's so popular, she keeps expanding the shade range. She currently has 10 shades available, which is really, really good. I believe originally she started out with five or six, but right now she's got loads of them. I have it in the shade medium brown, and as you can see, I am about to probably hit the bottom of it because I've been using it a lot. The product only has six months shelf life. However, like I said, it is enough for about two years, and I don't think that you're gonna have any issue using it for more than six months. This is probably about 18 months old and I don't experience any problem. Yes, it does start drying out a little bit. However, if you use something like the Inglot Duraline, you will be able to make it more liquidy again and it's gonna perform just as new. The brow pomade contains four grams of product, which doesn't sound a lot, but like I said, it will last you a very, very long time because you only need the tiniest little bit amount of product. And it was made in the People's Republic of China. However, I don't think they're selling their products in China because Anastasia Beverly Hills is a cruelty-free brand. Now let's talk about the She Glam version a little bit. First of all, this is how it looks. Exactly the same size, exactly the same feel as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It was also made in the People's Republic of China. However, I am pretty sure that Shein is selling their own products in China, so I'm not entirely sure about it being cruelty-free. And they don't mention anything on the packaging about being cruelty-free either. It does have have 12 months shelf life though, which is more than what you get from the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. And you also get 6.5 grams of product, which is more than one and a half times of what you get from the brow pomade. Another interesting thing is that this one isn't called a pomade, it's called a tinted eyebrow cream. And that makes me really curious about the consistency of this product, because a cream obviously sounds a lot more creamy than a pomade does. So I am really curious to see not just how it's gonna look at first, but how it's gonna hold up as well over time. So we're gonna jump right into applying it. And after that, I'm gonna go off camera for a couple of hours and I will come and check back in with you because I wanna see if it starts coming off over time. Before I apply them though, I wanna show you the shades on the back of my hand. And of course, I also wanna see myself if the shades are going to be anything similar. Obviously, I know that medium brown is my shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this is gonna be my first time using the She Glam one, and I am curious in how it compares shade-wise and consistency-wise to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. 
as you can see it's a really nice brown shade and the she glam one i purchased in the shade ebony the reason was because they had the shades soft brown dark brown and ebony available and ebony just seemed to be the most cool toned and whilst i think i would be better off with a lighter brown shade i wanted to make sure that it doesn't have any redness to it because my brows are naturally quite cool toned just as my skin so i wanted to stick to a cool toned shade even if it's slightly darker than it should be so nevertheless here is the shade ebony Okay, so you can definitely see that it is darker than the brow pomade from Anastasia. So I will need to be very careful with using this. But just to confirm, I'm going to take some using my finger. So once again, this is the medium brown shade from Anastasia. And this is the ebony shade. It is definitely a lot darker. I probably should have gone with a lot lighter shade we're gonna need to try to work around that i will probably try to use something on top of it to brighten it up and something on the top of the lighter one to darken it up so that they match better however i have a feeling once you apply them on your brows the difference is not gonna be as harsh as it first seemed to be but we shall see once we apply them. Obviously, something like this shouldn't affect a review though, because we are curious about the performance of the product, not necessarily how this really dark shade compares to my medium brown shade pomade. So I hope this is not going to affect the review that much, because I really want to focus on the performance of the brow cream as they call it and i don't want to put any emphasis on how the shade itself compares to my brow pomade okay so i zoomed you guys in and without further ado we're gonna jump right into applying them as always i'm going to apply the more expensive one on this side and i'm gonna jump right into it because this product is not new in my collection i know exactly how to use it and probably you do as well So as always, I carve out the bottom of the eyebrow first. And then I focus on the arch and the outer half of the brow. And then I start filling in with the leftover of the pomade. the inner half you don't want to take more product for this because you don't want it to look too harsh and you don't want this part to look too precise either because that would be very unnatural okay now let's see the other side i'm actually so scared of this right now after seeing how dark it is i'll be honest with you based on how they look like inside the container i did not expect them to be so different so ugh, i'm a bit scared but let's just hope for the best i'm just gonna try to pick up the tiniest amount of product first Okay, so a couple of things to mention. I was really scared of it at first because I thought it's going to be really creamy and it's going to go everywhere because when I touched it with my finger in the container, it did feel a lot creamier than the pomade. However, once I started applying it on my eye, it was a lot more similar to the brow pomade. One thing I'm gonna say though is that the brow pomade went a lot further, meaning that I had to use a lot less product to achieve a full brow. 
and although my brow looks done I still feel like I want to go back and add a bit more to make it a bit fluffier just like the other one is I did manage to apply the brow exactly where I wanted to apply it though it didn't start moving around when I went back with more product it seems to grab onto the brow and the skin quite well so I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with it and thankfully the color is not as dark as I originally expected it to be so it actually looks quite decent I will try to grab a bit more and just try to match like the size of the other brow because I feel like the other brow looks a lot just fluffier and I don't know, just bigger. I don't want to have two completely different brows, although, like I mentioned before, this is darker, so I'm also a bit scared to go back with more because I don't want to make the color look even more different than it was before. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. I do feel like this shade from She Glam, the shade Ebony, is a lot more similar to the shade Dark Brown from Anastasia. So if you use the shade Dark Brown and you want to look for an alternative, I think this will be really good for you. It doesn't really match the other side. And this was the reason why I stopped using this shade from Anastasia because it is too dark for me. The brow is too defined for me. I prefer the brow being a little lighter and a little more natural looking but it is what it is like I said I don't want to judge it based on the shade I want to judge it based on the performance and quite honestly so far I'm really happy with the performance I had no issue with it it was a lot more opaque and a lot less creamy than I expected it to be initially so it's all good so far as always I'm gonna set both sides with a bit of benefit gimme brow as I have quite sparse brows they are technically non-existent I do like to after applying the pomade also apply a brow gel because I just feel like it pulls it together and it really melts my real brows into the pomade and it just makes everything look more natural all right so that's both brows done now like I said don't mind the color I know they look different but what we want to see is the performance so far I'm very happy with the performance but obviously we want to see how it holds up over a longer period of time and I will come back in about let's say five hours I can't do the whole eight hours today as usual I just can't sit around doing nothing for eight hours so anyway I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and when I do we will actually accidentally touch both brows because that's a really important thing for me I do tend to touch my face quite a lot and it happened to me in the past that I accidentally technically completely wiped off one of my brows so I'm very interested to see if either of them holds up better than the other because if for example the Anastasia Beverly Hills holds up a lot better than this then I will stick to it even though it's more expensive but if they're just as good or just as bad as each other then you might as well just save that money so nevertheless I will be back in a couple of hours and when I do we will test out how they hold up I see you guys soon Okay guys, so it's been about five hours at this point. As you can see, I don't have my lipstick on anymore. It doesn't really matter. Nevertheless, this is how the two brows look like. I managed not to touch them, so I don't really think anything changed so far. None of them is really 
fading away or anything like that. So, so far I'm quite happy with the staying power, but like I said, we want to test out also what happens if you accidentally touch your face. So that's what we're going to do right now. I think I'm just going to go on and wipe the whole brow and see what happens. I'm going to start on the Anastasia side. So I don't think too much happened. There is some brow product on my finger. It definitely came off in this area, so it doesn't look as precise as it did before. But, um, you know, if I was at work, I could survive the day with this. It doesn't really look flattering, but it doesn't really look hideous either. So yeah, it's, it's not that bad. It didn't completely come off. It did come off in areas where I don't really have brow. And so it doesn't look as precise as it did before, but actually not that bad. This is how much product I have on my finger, really not a lot. I am very curious what's gonna happen on the other side. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I think that's very similar result. Obviously this one is slightly darker because the product itself is darker. But, I mean, other than that, it's really, really close. To be quite honest with you, this is not at all what I expected. I thought that the She Glam one is going to completely come off when you touch it, because that's what happens with brow pencils, to be honest, they just come right off. I always knew that the Promade has better staying powder than pencils do, but I did not expect this She Glam eyebrow cream to hold up as well as it did. So yes, I will say that even though at first it looked and felt a lot creamier than the brow pomade, I believe that is simply because it's a brand new product which I just opened whilst the brow pomade is obviously older. I had it for a while and it's drying out. In reality, they apply exactly the same. If you purchase a shade that's too dark for you like I did with this ebony shade, you will need to be careful when you're applying it. But once it's on, it's on. It's not going to come off any easier than the brow pomade does. So if you find the £19 too expensive for the brow pomade, most definitely have a look at this product on the Sheen website because I really like it. And I think I'm going to go back on their website and I'm going to order a shade lighter and I will start using it and it will save me a hell of a lot of money because it's literally like three pounds compared to the 19 pounds and that's huge. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. And until next time, take care of yourself. I will see you very soon.